The 2003 US-led coalition invasion of Iraq witnessed some tough encounters between coalition and Iraqi forces, the latter consisting of regular forces, Republican Guard, and Fedayeen Saddam irregulars. Over a period of three weeks, coalition forces fought several battles as they advanced on Baghdad, but eventually caused the surrender of the entire Iraqi military. All throughout the campaign, the coalition forces, as well as encountering modern and Cold War-era Iraqi tanks, also discovered a number of World War II-era armoured vehicles from Iraq's past, some being used as memorials, some in storage facilities, and a few even rolled out and actually used to help defend positions. An amazing assortment of World War II dated armoured vehicles ended up being captured, representing several phases of Iraq's military history. Here are some of the notable discoveries. The Royal Iraqi Army had originally been founded in 1922 with the accession to the throne of King Faisal I, when Iraq was called Mandatory Iraq and was actually part of the British Empire. Iraq gained independence from Britain in 1932, and during the period up to the overthrow of the royal family in 1958, the armoured forces were very limited. Fascist Italy under Benito Mussolini sold Iraq several types of small tanks and tankettes. In the 1930s, Italy sold Iraq 16 CV-33 or 35 tankettes, a two-man vehicle armed with a single 6.5mm machine gun in the CV-33 configuration, manufactured by Ansaldo between 1933 and 35, a design based off of the British Carden Lloyd tankette. The armour was 12mm thick, useful only against small arms and shrapnel. The L35 version was a bit better, armed with twin 8mm machine guns. Some of these tankettes were knocked out by British forces in 1941, when they invaded Iraq to remove its pro-German government. In 2003, several of these ancient tankettes were found by US troops. The 2003 invasion also turned up a handful of British Vickers Mark VI light tanks. Produced by Vickers Armstrongs in the 1930s, it had a crew of three, armour 4 to 14 mm thick, and was armed with a .50 inch Vickers machine gun and a 303 Vickers machine gun as secondary armament. It was a popular tank for use in the British Empire, a 16-ton vehicle that was used in a policing role, particularly in India and the Middle East. Some were used in the British invasion of Iraq in 1941, and later turned over to the refounded Iraqi army, and by 2003 were used as memorials and gate guardians. The British re-equipped the new Iraqi army during World War II, and one tank design adopted was the cruiser A-15 Crusader Mark I. First entering British service in 1941, the Crusader weighed about 19 tonnes, and depending on marks, was armed with either a 40mm Ordnance quick-firing 2-pounder gun, or a 57mm Ordnance QF 6-pounder, and was able to match the mid-generation Panzer III and IV of the Africa Corps. The Crusader was a vital tank during the Second Battle of El Alamein in 1942, and also at the Siege of Tobruk. The British eventually replaced them in desert service with the US Lee and Sherman tanks, and some were given to the Iraqis. Several were discovered in 2003, either at memorials or in a wrecked condition. The Iraqis also received a much heavier tank from the British, the Churchill Mark VII. Used by the Iraqi army in the 1940s and 50s, the Churchill originally entered British service in 1941, had a crew of five, and was armed with the quick-firing 75mm main gun and a coaxial Baser machine gun. Heavily armoured, its maximum speed was only 15 miles per hour, and Iraq replaced the type with a British Centurion main battle tank. A few old Churchills were found in 2003, including this largely intact example minus its gun in Tikrit. Here, it appears that the Iraqis used this old gate guardian as decoys to draw off coalition fire, this Churchill appearing to have been hit on the left side towards the rear. Another was found relatively intact and painted in a desert scheme. Perhaps the rarest World War II tracked vehicle found in Iraq in 2003 was this self-propelled gun, 
a World War II German 15-centimeter Geschützwagen Lorraine Schlepper, or SDK of said 135-1. The design was an amalgamation created by the Germans following the defeat of France in 1940. The Germans married the 15cm SFH 13 1 howitzer with captured French Army Lorraine 37L tracked armoured transporter chassis. Quite a number served with the Africa Corps in the Western Desert, which may explain this example turning up in Iraq post war, as the British captured large numbers in the Egyptian and Tunisian campaigns. This example was found in Iraq in 2003 and was a monument vehicle at the entrance to an ordnance facility north of Basra. Sadly, once the invasion was over, locals partially stripped this rare vehicle for scrap, and it is interesting to note that the gun barrel is stuck in the full recoil position after the breach had exploded. Had the Iraqis tried to use this vehicle during the Battle of Basra, in the decades after World War II, the Iraqi army replaced its British Centurion tanks with Soviet Cold War models, but also obtained some World War II-era US tanks due to its war with Iran in the 1980s. Among the World War II US vehicles found in 2003 were several M36 Jackson tank destroyers. Designed to deal with German Panther and Tiger tanks towards the end of World War II, the Jackson was armed with a 90mm gun, and many served long after the war's end all over the world. Iraq captured several from Iran, and in 2003 they were still appearing in Iranian army camouflage scheme. This M36B1 was damaged in 2003 during the Battle of Baghdad, probably a gate guardian that was hit by US fire by mistake, or perhaps deliberately it was used as a decoy by the Iraqis to draw off A-10 warthogs and anti-tank fire. This M36, also ex-Iranian army, was less fortunate and was completely destroyed in 2003. Naturally, the Sherman figured in the Iraqis' tank inventory, and a few turned up in 2003. This example was found still in World War II US colours. This Sherman M4 A3HVSS was found by US troops at an abandoned Iraqi armoured vehicle school close to Ford Operating Base Spiker and was later restored and used as a gate guardian at the base. You'll be pleased to hear that some of the vehicles discussed in this video were taken as trophies by coalition forces and taken back to their countries of origin, often being restored for display but sadly quite a number remain abandoned and rusting away today, or have been entirely scrapped by locals. Many thanks for watching, please subscribe and share, and also visit my audiobook channel, War Stories with Mark Felton. You can also help to support both of my channels at PayPal and Patreon, details in the description box below.